Hello friends, welcome back to Two Abstract. In this video, we are going to be discussing about TCP IP. The TCP IP simply stands for what? Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol. This uh, is a model which we use for what? Standardizing communication what? across network. Now, this model is used for st uh, standardizing communication across the network and it is the latest one or the modern uh, model, right? As opposed to the what, OSI model which we discussed in the previous video that um, it is obsolete, that it's no longer used again, right? And the OSI model is said to be, uh, consist of um, seven layers, right? And you can remember those layers using this mnemon uh, mnemonic and um, some kind of shortcut and uh, tip, right? So you can check that video out. So looking at this, right, the TCP IP. Uh, it is quite similar to the OSI model, but it is much more simplified as it consists of what less layer. Now we say that the TCP/IP is a modern what layer, right? Is a it, uh, it is a modern model, right? And it consists of what four layers. Well, firstly, is that the application layer, which is the top layer, the transport layer, the internet layer, and the link layer. What I want you to understand is that I will show you a comparison between the OSI model and the TCP. Um, T cpip model so if you watch the tutorial on what on the osi model and you understand understand it very well then the tcp uh, tcp ip would be much more similar and um, simpler now as you can see in the osi model we have the several layers right the application layer which we said um it deals with uh, the end user right the communication with the end user the presentation layer, which we say translates right the session layer which is responsible for terminating and setting up what session transport layer is responsible for what delivering what the packets right um, network layer is responsible for routing and addressing of what packet data link layer which is responsible for what packing bits and um, uh, packet into what frames and the physical layer is responsible for conveying bits right so we can see that these three layers what the seventh the sixth the fifth layer in the osi model is matched to form an application layer just to make things simpler or easier likewise the trample layer remains safe the network layer is repla uh, replaced with internet right as you can see from the tcp right it is transmission control protocol with what internet protocol so the network layer which is responsible for what the ip address accessing the internet so it represent it's really uh, represented with internet layer right why the data link layer and the physical layer is matched to form what a single word leak layer these are the words to um the comparison between what osi model and then tcp ip model so let's look at uh, the layers and understand what they are but quite um if you can what the story on the other side more there that's the foundation right like we said in the in the previous um video it is the foundation it is uh we said that um it is still considered to be a reference mode in which allows to understand our network what works right is the layer that comprises of everything so but in making things much more simpler right so we break down we use a tcp ip which just consists of what four layers there's um the tcp ip is um uh, it's updated and now it is consisting of five layers but we want to focus on what on the original layer right which consists of just four layers right the only difference in the fifth layer or the updated or tcp ip layer is that this link layer is split up so it is allowed to it is made to have um the data link and the physical layer so it is forming one two three four five instead of one two three four you'll get the point so that's just the difference right so looking at this the application layer is um, responsible for managing communication with the end user this is like the browser the mozilla the gmail application the http of accessing the world internet that's the physical layer and the application layer right and it's the upper layer we have the transport layer it's responsible for what error handling right so let's look at this from below and understand it better right the link layer which um consists of the data link and physical layer right? is responsible for conveying and packaging of what bits right into frames right under this layer we have um devices and mediums like cabling the nic nic network interface cable the switch is etc right you can understand that better in the osi model now likewise in the internet more uh, layer it consists of ip and the router right it's responsible for routing and what addressing the packet those zeros and one in the physical layer and the, the devices will attach a mac address to in the physical and uh, in the data link layer which all reside in the link layer is allowed to what pass through a route what or it is being addressed by what the internet layer likewise the transport layer is responsible uh, for error handling and sequencing right 
if there is a missing packet it is responsible for sending an acclaim and saying okay some packet are missing right and the application layer which uh, we said earlier that it is responsible for managing communication with the end user so these are just the four layers uh, in the TC TCP IP and then I hope it is clear so the PDF version of these documents of this file will be what, available in the link if you are um, interested you can download it shares and see you later